Hey guys, it's Jarful and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys my nighttime skincare routine Ever since I posted the videos regarding my reviews of the ordinary products glycolic acid toning solution and also their peeling solution I've got people asking me what products do I use before and after I use these products and also what time of the day do I use them and how many times a week do I use these products and I mainly use them at night specifically because I don't like using it in the morning because I am scared of sun damage and also just a disclaimer I'm not in any way an expert of anything skincare at all I just did my own research about these products and how it would affect my skin and I did use them and I found significant results that is why I incorporated them in my skincare regimen and also even though I use a wide range and varieties of products in my skin, it doesn't mean my skin is perfect. So please don't judge me. So just for reference, my skin is combination to oily. It is acne prone and I also have contact dermatitis, which means that I fairly have a very sensitive skin. That is why I am very picky with the products that I put on in my face. And please excuse the lighting because we don't have the support of sunlight anymore because it's 8 o'clock in the evening here in Australia and I am only using my ring light at the moment. And the first product that I use specifically on days when I have my makeup on like days like this, I use a makeup remover. And the makeup remover that I would use whenever I'm feeling lazy is this micellar water from Simple. I really like this because it has no artificial perfume or color and it also has no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin. And at the moment, I've been loving this makeup remover that I got from my Japanese skincare haul and it is this Yunyu No Additive Facial Cleansing Milk. This product is mild and gentle and it doesn't strip your skin off from moisture. And also, it is good for all the skin types out there and if you have contact dermatitis like me and seborrhea or any other fungal issues, then this is perfect for you. It wouldn't irritate your skin at all. So I just went ahead and tied my hair up in a ponytail off camera and we're gonna go ahead and use this makeup remover. What I normally do is I put a little bit of product in my hand and I just melt all my makeup off, especially my mascara. And also I forgot to mention that this makeup remover, you can use this with or without water. So I'm just focusing on my eyes. So since this makeup remover isn't oil-based, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove this with water and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back and I also went ahead and used my facial cleanser. And I also forgot to mention that with regards to this makeup remover, you really need to double cleanse. And the facial cleanser that I'm using at the moment is this Senka Perfect Whip, the original one. And I've been loving it since the moment I started using this product. And I also did a review about this product and I'm gonna put all the links in the description box down below in case you guys wanna watch it. And yes, I've been really loving this makeup remover and I really love how it feels in my skin and how gentle it is. And I normally cleanse my face twice, once with a makeup remover and double it up with a facial cleanser. So after cleansing my face, I then on would proceed on exfoliating my skin and I only exfoliate my skin once every week. I know some other people exfoliate their skin every other day but I only do it once a week and the exfoliating agent that I use is this AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution from The Ordinary so I use this for 10 minutes only and once weekly and I normally would use this on a Saturday and on days that I use this, I don't use the glycolic acid toning solution afterwards because it exfoliates my skin and it makes it dry and using the glycolic acid makes my skin even drier because the glycolic acid also removes dead skin cells in your skin so i normally would recommend on days that you will be using the peeling solution please don't use the glycolic acid toning solution so today is a thursday so i won't be using 
the peeling solution because I only use it on a Saturday. Now we will proceed on toning our skin and I'm gonna be using the ordinary toning solution. Ever since I started using these products, I've seen significant difference in how my skin feels and looks, but I still have a long way to go. And I know that in the near future, I would definitely have a skin that I would be confident of. Not that I'm embarrassed of what my skin looks at the moment, but you know what I mean? I just want to have a good, glowing, healthy skin. I normally would use a little bit of this toning solution because it tends to be a bit irritating. But I really don't mind it because it, I just feel it on like initial application and it just goes away. Even though I double cleanse my face, there are still a little bit of product left in my cotton pad when I use the toning solution, which means that not all of the makeup will be removed. So that is why it is essential to do double cleansing and also to tone your face to remove extra impurities. Next, I would then on proceed on using the Hada Labo Gyukujin lotion and it has hyaluronic acid in it. So what hyaluronic acid does is it is a moisturizer, which is really good after using the peeling solution and the glycolic acid toning solution. Since the effects of both of these products are drying to your skin, so it's good to moisturize your skin even more. So yeah, I would use this lotion. So in Japan, they call a lotion a toner as well. So I do use two toners, but this is really good for moisturizing my skin. So I just put a little bit of product because this one tends to be sticky on the skin. So I just normally would put it on, on my bare hands like this. And the next step, I'm gonna be using a serum, but I'm not quite sure if this product is a serum, but this is also from The Ordinary, and it is their Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. And I have been using this for quite some time now, and as you can see, I am almost out of the product. And I just normally would use it similar to how I use the peeling solution, but I do put it straight to my hands first before I put it in my face. So what niacinamide does is that it helps with hyperpigmentation, irregular skin tone, and it does brighten your skin a bit, and it's really good for your skin. And ever since that I started using this product, I've seen that my face is slowly brightening. And the next step is I would normally use a face mask, but I only use face mask once a week as well because I feel like it's a bit tedious to do and I'm a bit lazy. And the face mask that I use is this Lululun face mask. And I also use the face mask from Tony Moly. But since, again, it's a Thursday, so I'm not gonna be using this face mask. So now we're gonna proceed on the next step, which is we're gonna put a moisturizer. And the moisturizer that I am using at the moment is this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel, which I'm almost out of. See? I'm almost out of it. And the... The reason why I started using this Neutrogena Hydro Boost is that I wanted to look for something that I can purchase here in Australia. Because I used to use this moisturizer that I can only purchase in the Philippines and it is this Awad Korea Aqua Moisturizer Whitening Vital. And these helped my skin so much. I mean, it helped my skin with my hyperpigmentation. I also used to use some of their other products like their facial wash and their like exfoliating mask and stuff like that. But it's a bit hard to order them and make them deliver. It's like too much of a hassle. So that's why I started looking for a moisturizer that I can purchase here. And yeah, it is quite similar. The consistency of this is quite similar to the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I'm gonna show you. It is blue in color and I really love it. It's just quite similar. It feels similar. It smells different. 
So one of the reasons why I picked Neutrogena is that it reminded me of this moisturizer. So the last product that I'm going to be using today is another product from The Ordinary and it is their Azelaic Acid Suspension 10%. It is a multifunctional brightening formula and the reason why I put this to last because its consistency is a bit thick. I'm going to show you. So it's like it has this cream consistency so that is why I use it on the last part. And I feel like it just seals everything and it is, like I said, it has a brightening formula. But this product does sting your skin. And that is it. But yeah, these are the products I use in my nighttime skincare routine and I know it's quite a lot and most of the products that I got are from The Ordinary. And if you guys have any comments, suggestions, negative reactions, and future video recommendations, that feel free to comment that down below. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And don't forget to click the post notification bell to be notified for my future video updates. And hopefully I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys!